Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Well, it's finally time to finish up this project, or at least the bits that are important before I can fill this thing full of tools, take it out in the real world, uh, put it through its paces and see what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and if there's any other modifications I want to make. I have some ideas for internal dividers and organization, that sort of stuff, but until I've used this for a little while, I don't know if I'm going to need any of that or if it's going to be any real benefit. So like I said, I'm going to use this for a while and then I'll decide if uh, that sort of thing is necessary. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to finish off these uh, lid slash trays and I'm going to put a couple of dividers in them. I'm not sure they're necessary, but it uh, might help. I'm going to put, you know, bits and pieces on one side versus the other, keep things a little bit more organized. Hopefully it will make jobs a little faster, but we'll see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue one in, make it nice and solid. It'll add a bit of structural integrity, I suppose, but that's not really necessary. And the other one I'm going to leave as a friction fit, and I'm going to, like I said, just leave it in, take it out, uh, see if there's any difference between the two. So these are the sides, and I'm going to put a quarter inch uh, groove in each of these so I can put in uh, the dividers, and then that's uh, all, all I need to do before we get to the glue up. Now, like I said, there are some things that about this that I think I might need uh, but I don't know for sure. I mean, I've made a lot of things uh, over the last little while, which brings me to a point, really. If there's anything you're interested in seeing uh, an update on, uh, leave a comment below because, like I said, I've made a lot of different things. Uh, some of it I use, some of it's gathering dust. Uh, some of it I really, really like and I use all the time. If you're interested in the video along those lines, uh, leave a comment and I'll put something like that together. I was kind of thinking of doing that anyway uh, near the end of the year as a, well, what happened during the year and what I like about, you know, some of the things I made and that sort of thing. So anyway, leave a comment, let me know. So what I'm doing here is I started, um, put well, first cut on all of them and then moved it over just shy of a quarter of an inch and I'm creeping up on it because, as I mentioned, I do want to uh, make one of these a friction fit, so I'm making it a little bit tighter. Um, again, I don't, don't know if it's really necessary, but uh, it'll be a much nicer uh, look at least anyway. So I'm going to do all those up that way. Then all that's left, like I said, is the, the glue up for this. And I really do like uh, doing uh, rabbit joints for this reason here. It's messy, I suppose, but uh, it's very straightforward to do. And it makes good joints. Uh, so far I've made uh, drawer organizers, I've made a desktop organizer, and I've made a whole uh, shop organizer over on the other side where I keep uh, all my drill bits and end mills and all that stuff. And I've been using it now for, well, quite some time, and I haven't had any issues with any of it. Uh, as far as drawer organizers go, I think I do prefer the acrylic, uh, mostly because of its transparency, but the uh, wooden one's fine. It's not, you know, wearing it's not uh, coming apart it's uh, not having any issues that way it goes in out of the drawer just as easily as the acrylic one does uh, so anyway yeah uh, this is for a quarter inch probably my favorite uh, way of joining wood together it's like i said doesn't use any additional materials so you don't have to use screws or, well, actually you wouldn't be able to use screws anyway but yeah it's uh, works out really quite well there are a couple other things i want to try going forward just you know, to try stuff out, but just in general, if I want to put something together that I need, uh, this is quick and it's easy. You know, it does require, of course, to set the glue up, but that's about it. And you can see this is in two times speed. Uh, it goes together quite easily, as long as you have enough tape anyway. I have thought about putting together uh, a jig for this because, again, I use, uh, well, I use this an awful lot, but uh, so far I haven't really thought of anything that would make it any faster. The problem with a jig would be that the glue would get stuck in it and I would end up having possibly issues of trying to get it out of the jig. But anyway, so far, like I said, this is very straightforward, very easy to do. Uh, you just go through a, a chunk of a roll of tape. So yeah, I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to sand it. I'll leave the, well, most of the sanding off uh, screen, of course. That's another thing, if you want to see sanding, uh, just leave a comment below and let me know. I don't sand to the point where I would call it, you know, for fine carpentry, because 
these are tools. I use them. Uh, they're designed to go out in the real world and get banged around. And I only sand to about 120, uh, which is more than smooth enough to give me a good finish. And again, I use a lot of, uh, well, almost exclusively, you can see it at the top of the screen there, I use boiled linseed oil. I have thoughts from time to time of trying out uh, other methods. I have made to get a uh, some uh, well different types of waxes and stuff I was going to try. I may get around to that at some point, but like I said, worker has been really busy lately, so I haven't really had much time to do that kind of thing. I do plan on doing uh, more non-functional stuff just to see, test things out, uh, but for the moment uh, I'm going to stick to what I need. Like, i got a lot of stuff I have to put together, which reminds me the next project will be a small portable uh, workbench. It's going to be very tiny. Has to fit my vehicle along with everything else I put in there, uh, but I want to be able to saw stuff that uh, well it looks a lot better than putting on a toolbox, especially now that I made one that looks uh, relatively reasonable. Uh, I don't want to go hacking that up with a saw, so it looks a little bit more professional, and that's always a good idea. And that's the next project. Uh, I'm going to get to that soon. I haven't uh, lost track of the drum sander. I'm going to be doing that too. Uh, again, that's something I don't need at the moment. I'm quite happy using my uh, little blocks of wood with uh, adhesive sandpaper in them. That works perfectly fine for these kinds of projects. Uh, but I do see going forward that there may be other stuff for that. So uh, I want to get to that as well. There you go. It's uh, glued up. You'll notice there uh, is a, a little bit of wood filler on there. One of the joints didn't... Uh, seal quite properly. Another benefit of I used a uh, clamp instead of uh, using tape, but it was more than good enough for this. Just a little bit of wood filler. It was like a tiny gap, maybe a 30 seconds of an inch, but uh, in the, you know, the aim to make this look at least reasonable, uh, I am going to uh, sand that off, of course, and uh, we'll finish it all up. So I'm going to creep up on this one because, again, I want to make it uh, well, kind of a friction fit. Didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. It is a bit more loose than I want it to be, uh, but it's removable. And the other one, of course, will be glued in. I may end up just gluing the both in or just leaving it completely off. Uh, again, I'll have to use this in the real world and see. Um, these trays <coughs> are designed for uh, me working on a ladder. So what I'll do is I'll fill up with what I need it, uh, put stuff in it, and then I will... See, right now it's really nice and snug, but unfortunately I have to sand it and other things, and it got a little bit more loose. So yeah, it's going to sit on top of a ladder, so I don't have to go up and down the ladder, and uh, I'm going to be able to, you know, do less or more ergonomic, whatever you want to call it, uh, work with it. So there you go. I'm going to trim this down. It is the same uh, actual dimensions as the other sides. But of course, there's a rabbit on those, so this needs to be uh, thinned out a bit. And it is a very thin piece, so I'm going to use this guide. Uh, speaking of which things that I like, uh, this thing is very handy. It keeps my fingers well away, I can put pressure on it, and because it's held all the way along, uh, I don't have any issues with it moving at all, at all. so I really like that. Um, anyway, something I use all the time. So I'm going to creep up on this just like the other one. Uh, I'm not going to show all of it to you, but uh, it's just a matter of getting it just so it's perfect. Again, not necessary because it is just a tool that I'll be using a lot. But anyway, there you go. This is all sanded down now. Uh, I did all the sanding off uh, screen. Uh, use that. Uh, 120 grit. You'll notice, the, well, actually I noticed there's a little spot I missed. I'm going to sand that off. But yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, if you want to see more of that sort of thing, just let me know. I'm going to put on some boiled linseed oil, and this project is done. Well, it's going to get another coat. Um, speaking of coats, I have put uh, two, three coats on the toolbox itself now, and you'll notice the difference between this and the coats that are on that. The toolbox is a lot richer looking at this point. It is a different wood, and it's a lot older, of course. This is Baltic birch, and that is, if I remember correctly, because this is like over 20 years ago, I'm pretty sure that is oak. <clears throat> there you can see that looks getting a little loose. It's still fine, but we'll see how it works. Like I said, I'm going to be using it a lot, and 
I gotta move it in and out, but well, anyway, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, gluing it in might be a little bit more difficult now. I'll have to sand it down a bit. There you go, fits in nicely, uh, easily, and there you go. This is it. Definitely leave comments. Let me know what you think of these sorts of things. This is the one that's glued in, of course. And yeah, it's uh, that was a fun project. I really enjoyed doing this. It's an old-fashioned toolbox. And you see, it'll keep the weather off my tools, and it will <laughs> hopefully not be too heavy. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Leave comments, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.